Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. For this holiday, please come to Office Dot and enjoy the great savings on new desks, chairs, tables, and filing cabinets that your office needs. We also have impressive collections of accessories, such as lamps, picture frames, and more. Now is the best time to give your office a new look at the lowest price of the year. But hurry, this offer is only good for Monday through Wednesday. Office Dot is located on 250 Main Street, next to the city park. For more detailed information, please look for the business section of today's newspaper. Office Dot, the trusted partner for your office life. Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, Mr. Fernando. My name is Allison Sanders from the accounting department of Foremost Advertising. Your name was referred to me by one of my colleagues in the creative department at our company. I heard you've been providing catering services for Ms. Townsend for more than a year, and she speaks very highly of you. Our department is planning a special picnic on March 15th and wants to hire you to provide food and drinks for the event. Our department has about 20 employees, and we expect 30 or so family members, too. Would you give me a call to discuss the detailed menus and prices? The picnic is only a month away, and I need to arrange everything as soon as possible. I'd like to talk to you before the end of this week. My direct number is 555-2134. Give me a call. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Baxton Symphony Orchestra's first concert of the season. We regret to inform you that our program will be starting 15 minutes later than scheduled. We apologize that our guest violinist, Pamela Watson, was delayed getting to the music hall because of the traffic difficulties, and we'd like to give her a few more minutes to warm up. In the meantime, I encourage to read over the background information on tonight's performance, including the modern Russian composer Ian Kalinsky. The program background was written by our own symphony conductor, Martin Russo, and you'll find that article on page 7 of the program. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Before we end today's meeting, I'd like to remind you that all computer software in our office will be updated on Friday after the regular working hours. This is a regular maintenance procedure to improve efficiency and prevent possible hacking into our system. The staff from the technical support team will be checking each computer for viruses and updating software that is officially used in the company. Your files and data won't be affected by this inspection and maintenance. However, those who use laptops for outside work, such as sales personnel and customer service representatives, should stop by at the Technical Support Division before Friday for an individual checkup. Call Mr. Rudy Patton in the Technical Division for more information. Thank you. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Hello and welcome to the bottling plant of the Pure Water Company. My name is Raymond Walters, and I am the great-grandson of Samuel Walters, the founder of Pure Water. Let me start today's tour by showing you where the water source for our bottled water is located. If you look out the window, you'll see the southern slope of Blue Mountain. That's where we get our fresh water. The water gets piped down to our environmentally friendly reservoir and goes through a series of processes to ensure its safety and consistency. Now, let me show you how our innovative machinery works to process the natural water and make it more enjoyable and safe for our customers. Follow me, please. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Reynolds. This is Amber Paline from Own Your Domain. I'm calling you to inform that your contract with us to hold the domain of Veritas.com and VeritasEducation.com is almost over. Your current terms for both domains will be expired on the date of 31st of September. We recommend you either to call us or to log on to our website at www.ownyourdomain.com as soon as possible to keep your rights on these domains. Renewing your contract for both domains is $120 for one year and $200 for two years. Failing to do so could result in losing your valuable domains to other individuals or companies. 
Thank you, and we'll be waiting to hear from you. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, this message is for Larry Taylor. My name is Elizabeth Song, and I'm a reporter from the Brooklyn Times. Our newspaper is planning to run an article about the local restaurants in the community. Your restaurant was recommended by the most people we surveyed last week. As the head chef and owner, you oversee all of the operations and could be able to tell us more about your restaurant's food and services. We'd love to schedule an interview with you at your restaurant. We'll be taking some pictures of your signature dishes as well. Please call me back at 555-4235 and let me know when you are available for your interview. Thank you and I'll be waiting to hear from you. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following introduction and schedule. Good morning and welcome to the Business Management course. I am Mark Anderson and I will be your instructor in this six-week course. Each week, we will be covering a different subject of business management. Some subjects will be familiar to you, such as managing quality and operations, which you as managers might have experienced before. Other subjects should be new to some of you, such as budgeting and financing. I'm sorry to inform you that the last subject on your schedule has been changed into public relations after the feedback we've got from previous class graduates. There will be weekly reading assignments, and I will also provide you with some helpful articles and magazines. However, I think you will get the most from class discussions with your classmates, who can give you the real stories of the business world. That is the real value of taking this course with other business people. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and chart. Hello, Ms. Nelson. My name is Min Hee, and I work in the personal department of SAM Electronics. We have recently received a resume of Patrick Nelson applying for the position of a sales manager, and he named you as a reference. We had an interview with him yesterday, and I'd like to talk to you about Patrick, especially about the projects he was in charge of. As his immediate supervisor, you should have a lot to tell about his work performance. I heard one of the accounts he handled became the most profitable one, and we'd like to know how he managed the project and worked with other team members. Would you please call us back at your convenient time to 555-3345? We close at 6 p.m. today, and I'll be available all afternoon. It would take only a few minutes of your time. Thank you for your cooperation. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following news report and list. In other news, the cost of staying cool during the summer warm season is getting higher and higher. This summer, most of us need to think of alternative ways to keep ourselves cool. Starting next week... The electricity rates are expected to go up to almost 30% in some regions. So, what can you do to reduce the cost of electricity? Residents who will experience over 20% increase in electricity bill should seriously think about getting new energy-efficient appliances, the industry experts insist. Other energy consultants say that most families could save up to 10% of energy just by improving the efficiency of their home appliances. I recommend taking those plugs out when you're not watching your TVs or using your computers. We can reduce the waste of electricity by turning off all unused devices and appliances in and around the house. This is Kevin Kwan, reporting from the Energy Department of Washington. Now back to you. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, this message is for Patty Martin. This is Tony from Dr. Kemble's office, and I'm calling to confirm your appointment for tomorrow at 3 o'clock Wednesday. Because you're a new patient, we have sent you a patient information form in your mail last week. Please bring the completed form with you tomorrow. This will help you speed up your sign-up process. If you want to change your appointment time, please call me back at 555-1221 by 4.30 today. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 3. Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following advertisement. Always envying those who play music well? Waiting for a chance to actually learn and play a musical instrument? This time, Brighton Music Store can make it happen for you. We are located on Chelsea Street next to the Huntington City Library. Our hours are from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. 
And this week, we have a special event prepared for you. Our annual students' concert will be performed at 6 o'clock on March 7th, Saturday. So come on down and enjoy the music and see how you could perform like a real musician. In addition to regular piano and keyboard lessons, we'll soon be offering organ lessons of all levels. These new music classes will start early next month. So come and visit Brighton Music School located on 755 Chelsea Street next to the Huntington Library. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following announcement. Before we finish today, I have some news about the company's website. Becky Brown has spent almost two months to redesign our company's website, and from now on we will use it to post announcements about company events and other important news concerning our work at the EMC Corporation. So when you get back to your desk after the meeting today, make sure EMC Corporation's official website is set up as the home page in your computer. That way, each morning when you come to work and turn on your computer, you'll see the important messages and news at our company. Also, if you have an announcement that you think will be interest of everyone, let Becky know so that she can post it for you. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Good morning and welcome to the Cape Cod Travels. On behalf of the residents of Cape Cod, I would like to welcome all of you to our beautiful beaches. On our tour of the Cape, you'll be able to spot the biggest whales and dolphins traveling around the Atlantic Ocean. You'll also be able to taste robust local seafood dishes, including the famous steamed lobsters. The entire tour will last about six hours, and you'll have plenty of time to enjoy the sun on the deck and take lots of pictures. This will be a once-in-a-lifetime chance for you to experience the natural beauty at its best. Also, we'll also have a marine biologist, Dr. Chris Gary, will join us later to explain about local animals and plants and answer any questions you might have. Now let's get going. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. I'm pleased that so many of you could come to this luncheon discussion session. Today we're joined by Angela Dunmore, the renowned landscaper and creator of the sculpture located in our first floor lobby. As the new vice president of this company, I was compelled to make our headquarters to serve both our clients and employees better. And having more inviting environment by adding artwork throughout the building is the big step I took for that initiative. Fortunately, Miss Dunmore has agreed to lend us some of her own paintings until she finds better places for them, such as museum or private houses. Miss Dunmore is here today to talk about the subjects of her paintings and what had inspired her to do what she does now. Let us give her a warm welcome, shall we? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Sally. This is Charlie Rydell calling from the main office in London. Thank you so much for helping me coordinate next month's conference in Buenos Aires. Although I have done many conferences before, I haven't done any in South American markets, and since my Spanish ability needs some polishing, your help will be so appreciated. Could you reserve a hotel that has a large conference room and at least 60 or so single or double rooms available for the week of September 9th? We expect at least 200 participants from 50 countries. Make sure they have all the equipment and line installed in the conference hall for individual lectures and presentations. Find possible hotels and send me an email with their website information. I'll check the sites myself and we can make the final decision together. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me at any time. Thank you again. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following news report. Good evening and thank you for listening to WRX Evening Business Report. Earlier today, Stephen Martinez, the president of Berkeley Communications, announced that his company has developed a new operating system. Mr. Martinez said that the new software program will be compatible with any kinds of computers and mobile devices in the market. The product is expected to be launched in early next month, but the customers can use the trial version of this software as early as next week, by filling out a short online registration form. Mr. Martinez projects that the total sales this year will be about 20% higher than last year's because of this new product. 
Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following recorded message and schedule. Hello, and thank you for calling Mohawk Paper Store, the largest provider for quality business cards, flyers, brochures, and other promotional stationery items in Boston area. We have a variety of styles and sizes to effectively present your company, and if we don't have in stock what you want, we are happy to place a special order. Unfortunately, we're not open right now, but you leave your name and number, we will return your call as soon as possible. Our normal business hours are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and from this week, we are also extending our weekend business hours by one hour. Please take advantage of this great opportunity and visit our store soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and schedule. Attention passengers, this is an express train to Hartsville. I'm sorry to announce that there will be some change in today's schedule. This train will only stop at Morrow Street before it arrives at the final destination, Hartsville Station. We will not be stopping at any other stations. If you want to change trains at Sunset Road or Cypress, please exit and take the local trains. Once again, this is an express train, and the next stop is Morrow Street. Please be considerate and do not put any luggage on the seat next to you or in the aisles. If your bags are too large to be put on your overhead shelf, they can be placed in the baggage areas adjacent to each door. Thank you for riding with us and please have your ticket ready for collection. Morrow Street is the next. This train will only stop at Morrow Street, Cypress, and Sunset Road Station. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following short talk and list. Good afternoon. My name is Sandy Nelson, a sales manager from Easy Learn Corp. based in Chicago. I'm honored to be part of the annual teachers' conference today. I'm here to tell you more about our innovative teaching strategies. Easy Learn Corp. has been producing learning tools for students who have difficulties in reading and writing. The new Make Up a Story software can help any student make their writings into an impressive presentation of materials, books, newspapers, or any kind of publication forms. It has built in layouts, dictionaries, and a personal assistant fairy that can tailor the software to individual students' needs. The usual introductory version of this program is listed in your handout. However, for today's conference participants, we offer a special $20 off from the regular price for you, which is a major discount. Now, let me show you how exactly this program works. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following recorded message. Hello, this message is for Tim Sanders. I'm calling about having wood flooring installed in my shop. I run a small hair salon in Bayside Mall. And I'd like to change the flooring to wooden one. Could you give me a price estimate for this job? You were recommended to me by a friend of mine. You did some work for her a few years ago, and she was very happy with the quality of work. I did the rough measuring of the store, and if you call me back, I can give the information so that you can prepare an estimate. Or we can set up an appointment so that you can come over, see the shop for yourself. My name is Emily, and my number is 555 2482, and I'll be waiting for your call. Thank you. Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message Hi, Mr. Phillips. I'm calling from CVS Pharmacy. You came yesterday and dropped off a prescription for your medication. You've asked to deliver the medicines to your house when it's ready, but there has been a problem. The prescription form you gave us was missing the signature of the doctor. We've called your doctor, Dr. Lee, and he will be faxing a new form today. But unfortunately, your medication won't be delivered this morning like we have promised. It should be ready late this afternoon because some information should be verified. We're sorry for the delay, and if you have any questions, please call us back. Otherwise, your medicine will be delivered to your house by the end of today. Thank you. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Welcome aboard on our international mountain travel bus. We're ready to start our trip to Vancouver. We'll be traveling about four hours before we cross the U.S. Canadian borders. Today's weather is supposed to be sunny all day, and we should be able to enjoy spectacular views of the mountain on the way. 
From time to time, I'll stop the bus to point out the famous landmarks of the area. Before we depart, I suggest everyone check to make sure you have your passports and other travel documents. It would be a shame to find out later on that you don't have the proper IDs and documents and go back on your own. If you have done that, then we're ready to start another exciting day. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking for a healthy and balanced life? Are you tired of juggling between your work and family? Now you can have it all. Kundalini Yoga, the most powerful and fastest acting yoga known to the world, will help you manage your life better. The trailblazing course for beginners has been specially designed and produced by Guru Kalsha, PhD. Dr. Kalsha is a teacher and an author of 20 books on health and self-management. Now you have the chance to learn the basics of Kundalini Yoga through the convenient online training sessions. We started the live online broadcasting on basic yoga steps from last week. To find updated schedules and information on group discounts, please call 1-800-555-1285. Now, find peace in your life. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following news report. In local news, Sun Valley will soon become a national park. On Monday, the government finally put this popular gathering place on its list of the country's protected areas. The Bureau of National Parks said this place was chosen as an ecological reserve because of its unique settings that has both recreational and scientific values. Sun Valley was one of the few places in the nation that has rare wild plants and trees that are nearly extinct in other parts of the country. Some residents, however, said they were disappointed by the decision because it will increase the traffic and noise and make it difficult for local residents to enjoy the site. We will have more news after the short weather update. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following recorded message. Welcome. You have reached the maintenance office of Beacon Electronic Service Center. Customer satisfaction is our number one goal. I'm afraid our office is currently closed. Our regular business hours are from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. For frequently asked questions concerning operating your equipment, please log on to www.beaconelectronics.com. If you are experiencing a maintenance problem that requires immediate attention, please call our after-hour operators at 555-2394. For routine maintenance, please leave a detailed message after the recording, including your name and contact number, and we will reply as soon as the office opens in the morning. Thank you for using Beacon Electronics, the number one manufacturer of reliable home electronics. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Well, I have an announcement before we move on to the next item on the agenda. The product design team has passed a real challenge on to us in the packaging engineering. They need a packaging for a new line of lamps that have a large decorative glass shade. Of course, it is very important to protect the glass components of the lamp but it is also important to design the packaging that is cost-effective and visually appealing. I'll be distributing the sheet that has a drawing with the dimensions of the lamps, so review them and we'll get together this afternoon to discuss the packaging designs. I'm looking forward to hearing some fresh ideas from you guys. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. The Sales and Marketing Division just informed me that the completion date for our website redesign has been moved up to next Friday. We only have about 10 days before the deadline. I know this could be a bit of stress for some of you, but the management thinks that having the workable website before introducing a new line of products will be necessary. It is my job to make sure this project is finished on time with quality work. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns on your assignment. This project is our top priority over all other projects. So, if you've completed your part and have extra time, please contact my assistant, Miss Eunice, at extension 857. There are still many sections that need help. Let us work together to make it a success. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and map. 
The city of Boston would like to inform residents of the upcoming marathon competition. This Monday, April 12th, will be our 10th Boston Marathon competition organized by the Boston Athletic Association. The traffic will be closed in many parts of the city, so we encourage you to check your travel routes before you leave home this morning. Athletes as well as citizens will leave Union Street start line at 10 o'clock a.m. sharp. The first winner will arrive at the finish line at Boylston Street in a little over two hours after the competition starts. However, the roadblocks will last about eight hours until most participants have passed the major roads, including Central Street and Washington Street. For more information, please contact BAA's office at 617-222-8473 or visit their website at www.baa.com. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and list. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Association of Accountants Annual Conference. I just want to make a few announcements before the morning schedule begins. Please note that the New Age Software Demonstration Session, which was scheduled to be held in one of the conference rooms, has been moved to the lobby hall to accommodate more people. Also, tickets are still available for tomorrow night's banquet. It starts at 7 in the banquet hall, and the feature presenter is Mr. Marvin Klein, the author of My Life's Accounts. Mr. Klein plans to have a book signing after the presentation. If you haven't purchased your ticket yet, please stop by at the registration desk set up next to the main entrance. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Tired of using your old vacuum cleaner? Try a new Eurospeed ES200 vacuum cleaner. The ES200 is lightweight and easy to handle. It has more power than any other handheld vacuum cleaners in the market and will clean faster than you could imagine. Recently featured in the new product section on Quality Appliance magazine, the ES200 is the hottest item on the market. And if you call today, you'll receive 20% savings from the retail price. So, call 555-2343 right now and get your own Eurospeed today. Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Attention passengers, the Blue Line train to DuPont Circle will be delayed for 30 minutes due to unexpected railway condition changes. We recommend the passengers take the Red Line train from this station and transfer to the Blue Line at East River Station. Be sure to pick up your free transfer voucher at the customer service desk here before you board the Red Line. The customer service desk is located on the basement one and can be reached from any exits in the station. Again, the Blue Line train for DuPont Circle will be 30 minutes late. We're sorry for your inconvenience. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Welcome everyone to our special banquet this evening honoring Mr. Doug Hansen. As you know, Doug Hansen made a great impact on our organization. During 25 years of his service at our company, he served many positions and helped many employees. Especially for the last five years as the accounting executive director, he did a lot to cut unnecessary costs for the organization and return the profits to its rightful owners, shareholders, employees, and customers. Although we will miss him a lot, he'll be very busy after his retirement. I know personally he will be looking forward to pursuing his other interests, including painting and photographing. And starting next month, he will also help Max Publishing as a part-time consultant. So, join me and congratulate Doug on his successful career and more successful future life. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Good morning and welcome to the first of four training sessions for our company's new database system. This software was designed by the Tokyo branch of our Information Technology Department. As sales staff, you must know the importance of accurate data management to socialize and manage your customers. You'll get to do this and much more after one month of training. Today, after the general introduction, we'll learn data entry procedures. Later on, we'll learn to sort them out in a customized way to help you and make impressive printouts with it. If you experience any difficulties during or after the class, please contact the Technology Help Center or send an email to our department. 
Now let's begin. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mary. This is Jenna from the Harrisburg Community Book Club. It is Monday at 5 o'clock. I'm calling to let you know that we had to reschedule this week's book club meeting. Something came up at my house. So, rather than meeting at my house on Thursday, we'll be meeting at Michelle's house on Friday at 7 p.m., our regular time. Sorry for the confusion. Just to remind you that we will be talking about A Light in September by John Faulkner. If you can't make it on the new date, please call Michelle so that she will know how many people she can expect at the meeting. I hope to see you there. Goodbye. Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Norris. This is Miki Ayako from Creative Advertising. You recently completed one of our firm's online surveys. Based on your responses and demography, we're inviting you to take part in a focus group discussion. Our firm is preparing an advertising campaign to promote a new product from a famous automobile company. We'd like to show you three different commercials on a new product and get your reactions to them. The session will take about an hour and you'll be getting $100 worth of gift certificate that can be used in any local stores and apartments in the area. We value your feedback. Please call me back by Friday at 555 2353 to let me know you're interested. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following advertisement. Bestville Apartment Complex is known for its quiet and scenic location under the hills of Blue Mountain, where hikers are dreaming of going. Now, in addition to the charming surroundings at the park, a limited number of furnished units have been updated with brand new high tech home appliances a flat screen TV, a refrigerator, a washer, and a dryer. These new updated units are available for rent starting this March. You'll love living in Bestville Apartment Complex, where all residents have free access to our swimming pool and spa c e n t e r You can also bring in your guests with a minimum fee. To schedule a tour, call 555 3245. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk and schedule. Thank you for coming. I wanted to meet with you to talk about your next assignment. Four of you will form a project team for the Grill W restaurant. The client has hired our architectural firm to remodel their first floor main hall before the start of the next tour season. Grill W has many international tourists, and they want the main hall to have the atmosphere of more traditional Western steakhouse. I already put together the intended timelines of work involved. Let me give you the copies of schedule now. However, please note that after talking with the owner of the restaurant, we've decided that the time for carpeting and vinyl flooring should be shortened by one day. This way, we can still have three days for cleanup. We will go through the timelines together. So if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Let's do our best to deliver the quality service and meet the client's deadline at the same time. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and list. Thank you all for coming to today's demonstration. I'm so glad to be a part of the 2012 job fair for local businesses. My name is Stanley, and the program I'm going to show you today is our newest product, MPro Series, and I will help your company or agency to manage your applicant's database more efficiently than ever. It has sorting options for all levels, including regions, ages, and language abilities. It also has online features that will search and match other applicants who have similar qualifications and skills and how much they're getting paid. Especially, you're managing a number of applicants such as more than 500, MPro Intensive would really be helpful. Through this innovative software, you can evaluate your applicants more efficiently and objectively. Before we begin, I'd like to recommend you to keep the copy of our flyer. To get a 10% discount on purchasing any of the M Pro series. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and chart. Now let's move on. I reviewed our quarterly sales figures yesterday, and I'm happy to report that our sales increased dramatically compared to those of the previous year. Sales of most of the frozen food in the supermarket have continued to be strong. 
but it's the sales of the veggie platter, fish, and seafood dinners that have led the sales drive. Particularly, the newly introduced product showed the most growth in the same period and indicated how much it was loved by healthy, conscious women and men in their twenties and thirties. I think the trend to choose healthy menus over traditional high-calorie dishes will continue, because they proved to be so popular. We're planning to offer healthy dessert lines such as fruit sherbet or yogurt to our customers. We want to test customers' interest before we start the new line. So next week we'll begin doing some market research by using online surveys through our website. Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following recorded message. Hello, you have reached the Delta Engineering Employees Weather Hotline. Due to heavy rain and flooding, the office will be closed today. If you are able to, please work at home. You may enter our company's official website and register your working hours through our online payroll system. We expect the office to be open during regular business hours. For further information and notification, please check our automated messages through the day. Thank you. Questions seventy-four through seventy-six refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention to an urgent message, please? A white sedan license number XG three five six is currently blocking the exit out of the parking lot on level two. If you are the owner of the vehicle, please come to the parking lot on level two and remove your car immediately. Otherwise, it will be towed at your expense. Also, a blue truck with license number TY three seven five nine is parking at a handicapped area without a permit. Parking spaces for the handicapped should be kept vacant for their proper use. Please move your car to one of the designated areas for visitor. The visitors' parking spaces at our building are available at the south corner of each level, and they are clearly marked with yellow colours. Thank you for your cooperation. Questions seventy-seven through seventy-nine refer to the following announcement. Attention, all employees. This is a reminder that assembly lines eleven and twelve will shut down at three o'clock in the afternoon, so that some of the machinery be replaced with new equipment. This is a part of regular maintenance procedures to ensure safety operation. Employees regularly work on these lines will instead review operating guidelines for the new equipment with our training manager Douglas Zing. Mr. Zing will meet you at the meeting room three, located next to the company cafeteria at three p.m. Again, assembly lines eleven and twelve will be shut down tomorrow afternoon. For more information, contact the security office. Questions eighty through eighty-two refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Ms. Allen. This is Maria from Butterfly Floral Shop. One of our drivers stopped by at your place to deliver a bouquet of flowers this morning, but nobody was available to receive them. We can try to deliver them again later today, but we need to know someone will be at your house. If not, you can pick up your bouquet at our shop or arrange another delivery time within two days. As you can see, fresh flowers bouquets are made just for you and do not have a long shelf time. Please call us at Butterfly Flowers at five 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 two four seven three. We will close at five o'clock today and will open tomorrow morning at nine a.m. Thank you and have a nice day. Questions eighty three through eighty five refer to the following talk. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, as we end our conference, I'm proudly introducing our final presenter, Dr. Elizabeth Lorraine. Ms. Lorraine's presentation today is about the latest advancement in alternative energy. Specifically, she will talk about the recent development in alternative fuels using corns and other grains. I should note that Dr. Lorraine has worked at the Ministry of Commerce, planning the energy policies for the whole country. She was also recently invited to join an international panel of scientists and researchers to work on this topic. She is one of the few females selected to serve at this committee. Now, Miss Lorraine will speak on the future of energy world and will gladly answer any questions later on. Let us welcome Miss Lorraine with a round of applause. Questions eighty-six through eighty-eight refer to the following advertisement. Looking for an affordable business space in a hurry? We have the place for you. Construction will soon be completed on downtown office complex. 
Designed by award-winning Bingham Creative Architectural Firm, the building will surely win an award of its own. The complex features spacious office space, fully furnished with desks, computer, and other office equipment. We have an impressive lobby and waiting area, meeting rooms of different sizes, and underground parking spaces, all for free when you sign the leasing contract with us. The building is conveniently located near the restaurant and shopping district, but only a number of units are left now. So act fast and grab this unique opportunity. To review the inside of the different units, visit our online photo gallery at www.downtownoffice.com. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. Now, before we finish, I'd like to tell you about the significant change that will affect everyone at this company. We've been using traditional paper-based payroll cards, and the payroll department had to calculate individual employees' paycheck by hand. But starting next month, we will use a new online system that would enable us to calculate and track our work records more accurately and efficiently. All you have to do is log on to your computer when you start your work in the morning. You'll all be receiving a memo that explains the procedure of registering for your own database system. We'll also set up some training classes soon for those who need help with the new system. Details about training classes and how to enroll for them will be included in the email you'll get. Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thank you for coming. Before we start today's meeting, first I would like to congratulate us all on accomplishing the goal of increasing sales by over 5% last month. This is mainly due to the popularity of our newly launched women's line of summer dresses, Easy Breeze. However, we need to build on this success and prepare for the winter season. I've been looking into an exciting line of leather and fur coats from a young designer, Michael Yamaguchi. These leathers are not actually animal skins, but rather synthetically manufactured fabrics that have remarkable similarity with real animal skins and will be loved by both fashion leaders and animal lovers. Now, you are going to see some of Yamaguchi's new designs for the next season and are asked to give me feedbacks on how we should incorporate them into our lines. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following speech and chart. First, I am happy to announce that our sales for the new Ali's Makeup Box have increased by 30% in the southern region, while profits are up by almost 18%. This is mainly due to our new colourful cosmetic lines, targeting women who are sensitive to fashion trends. We have teamed up with leading fashion designers to predict new trendy colours and come up with this year's must-have lipsticks and eye colours. In March of this year, the new pastel line of new lip and cheek colours was launched and made a biggest sales increase the following month. The new line of products appealed to the fashion-forward women in their 20s and early 30s. We especially thank the employees who developed and maintained a close relationship with the fashion world. To recognise their effort and encourage continuous dedication, next month all employees will receive a 10% bonus in their paychecks. I hope we can celebrate this success and continue to endeavour to make Ali's cosmetics better. Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and map. Now let me tell you one more thing before we close today's meeting. I know parking has been a problem for the last few months after we hire more doctors and nurses to get ready for the next year's expansion. So, management made an agreement with Marshall Shopping Center on Maple Avenue to lease some of their parking spaces in their lot. Unfortunately, the spaces won't be available until May when they coordinate their schedules with their employees. So, in the meantime, I recommend you to use public transportation for those who have problems finding parking spaces. Also, we're trying to arrange the shuttle buses from the corner of Ridgeway Street and Parkway Street to the hospital on an hourly basis. If you want to find out detailed bus routes and schedules, please stop by at the information desk.